In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step plan on how to go from zero to retiring in less than three years with self-publishing. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I've built a multiple six figure KDP business, which I eventually sold for $820,000. And now I'm building my second KDP account. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually actively publishing to this day, then make sure to subscribe. And if you want a completely free training on how I built a highly successful Amazon KDP business, then there is a link in the description that you guys can go and check it out. All right, so this is going to be a step-by-step -step plan on going from zero to essentially building financial freedom for yourself with Amazon KDP in less than three years. Now I'm about to give you the roadmap for it. And I understand that this is a very, very big claim. And you know, the reason why I can tell you this is because this is exactly what I'm doing as well. And I will give you another example of somebody else that's doing the exact same thing. So before we move forward though, that I do have to give you a disclaimer that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I am legally not allowed to give you guys financial advice. So this is just for educational purposes. But on top of that, all of the numbers that we talk about is obviously has to be hypothetical because we're going to be talking about, you know, the inflation rates, how the stock market performs and those numbers, it changes every single year. So you cannot be hundred percent basing everything off of the numbers that I give you. However, what's important is not the numbers, but the concept. So I want you guys to take the concept of this, how you can build a business, make a bunch of money, invest properly. And then you can basically live off of that for a very long time. That is the concept that hopefully this video will teach you. So let's get right into it. So step one in your journey of achieving financial freedom uh, is obviously to grow your publishing income. So it'll be much easier if you're making a lot of money so that you can save more money and then invest in proper assets. So that'll be step one is to grow your publishing income. Find a way to publish more books, whether that is to do low content books. If you don't have the budget, you can do high content. You can you know, pick up more shifts uh, in your job. You can get an extra job so you can make more money from your job, save the money invested into your business so that your business grows faster, right? Whatever way you find, you want to make sure that you're publishing more books, advertising, building your publishing business so that income goes up. Now, step two is keep building that business. So you want to grow that income to $20,000 a month profit. Okay. So focus on improving your skills, not chasing trends. I would recommend focusing on evergreen topics, you know, not doing seasonal topics because you make more money in Q4, but then your income completely dies once Q4 ends, if you're just chasing trends and seasonal topics like that. So I personally recommend uh, going into evergreen and just consistently publish more books and build a brand. And if you do these things, then 20 K a month is definitely achievable. And if you're just getting started with publishing 20 K a month profit, that sounds pretty crazy, but there are a ton of other people doing this. I myself have done it as well. And so I can tell you that it's, it's possible. And so you just want to keep publishing, keep getting better, keep improving your skills, keep improving your books, and you will eventually get there. Now, if you still do not believe that you can build a 20 K a month profit KDP business in less than three years, once again, I've done it myself, but I can also show you another person who's done it, which is this person whose uh, business is on empire flippers right now, which is a website that you can sell your KDP business. So you can see that this business uh, is listed at $894,000 and it's making a $23,000 monthly profit. And it started in April 4th, 2020, which is less than three years old. So perfect example of someone who actually has done this. And the craziest part about this is he is only a 24 year old. All right. After you build your KDP business to at least $20,000 a month profit, then what you want to do is save and invest everything. So you're making a ton of money from your business. What you want to do is to not start spending this on stupid things like, you know, expensive cars, watches, clothes, whatever, like travel, right? You want to be very, very frugal and you want to save all of this as much as you can. Any extra money left after investing back into your KDP business should be saved and invested. Just take the bare minimum for food, rent, whatever, you know, you have to use to live. But besides that, you want to save and invest into stocks, real estate. And personally, I like stocks better than real estate. It's way easier and you know way more beginner friendly to start 
When you're going to invest in stocks, I prefer VOO, which is a Vanguard index fund that follows the S&P 500. This is typically the most recommended approach when it comes to beginners investing in the stock market. You guys can go and, you know, watch videos on it. But VOO is one of the, the best stocks that you can start as a beginner. Once again, not financial advice, but this is what I do. So, for example, if you're making $20,000 a month in the U.S., uh, you're probably going to get a 35% tax rate. So once again, as I give you these numbers, it's not going to be completely accurate. So, you know, don't post comments that says this, the numbers aren't accurate. That's not the point. But let's say you're making $240,000 a year because you're doing 20K a month profit. From there, you take off, you know, 35% uh, in taxes. So you're left with about $156,000. So if you live off $24,000 a year, which is about 2K a month, which is very doable if you're a single person. If you're a family, maybe it has to be a little higher. But me, I can tell you as a single person, I lived in Hawaii, one of the most expensive places in America, and I was way below 2K a month because I was extremely frugal. I was renting a very cheap place, never eating out, always home cooking, you know, always buying the cheap foods, right? So it's super possible to live off of 2K a month or below that. So if you do that, you're saving $132,000 a year that you can invest, which is exactly what I've done. So what I've done is to take that $132,000 a year and put it into stocks, specifically VOO. All right, step four is to keep the business or sell it for $800,000. So technically, we can stop here because we're making $20,000 a month profit. So we're well off of, you know, in the financial freedom range, right? So you can live off of book royalties or another option you can do is you can sell this business at a 40x multiple. So just like how I just showed you a 24 year old that is selling his business for 800 and almost $900,000, I believe uh, you can sell your KDP account and there are people that will buy it. I myself have sold my KDP account for $820,000. So I know that it's possible because I've done it. So if you're making $20,000 a month in profit, typically, you can sell it at a 40x multiple, which means the listing price will be around $800,000. So once you sell your business for $800,000, you will have to pay capital gains tax. It'll most likely be long-term capital gains because you'll have your business for more than a year. So that'll be a max 20% uh, tax. Now, depending on where you live in the state, you do have to pay a little bit of state tax. But in this calculation, let's just ignore that. Let's say you live in somewhere like Texas, so you don't have to pay taxes uh, for the state. So let's say the only thing you got to pay is 20%, which means your net profit will be $640,000. Once again, if you don't believe me, that's exactly what I've done. I sold my business for $820,000. So step five is to invest all of that money into VOO or any index fund of your choice. So the total invested, if you do all this, is now $772,000. VOO averages a compound you know, annual return of 9.55%. So for easy math, let's just say 10%. Um, it'll be a little less than this, but let's just say 10% a year for easy math. And once again, that is exactly coming from this data right here in the last 30 years. The VOO ETF obtained a 9.55% compound annual return. So that is a number that I'm basing off of. So 10% of $772,000 is $77.2,000, which means if the stock keeps averaging 10% returns every single year, you'll be making $77.2,000 a year in growth of that 772K that is invested in basically pure passive income without doing anything. And obviously, you know, this changes every single year because we all know that this year, the stocks are going down significantly. And some year it'll go up way more than 10%. So on average it's 10% a year, some year it'll be much higher, some year it'll be much lower like last year, right? So you just never know. But on average, this is a number that we can somewhat expect now the average inflation is 2.67 percent a year and once again in 2022 the inflation was way higher than this but on average it's about 2.67 percent a year so your money grows 10 percent a year but you lose 2.6 percent a year in inflation which means you're netting 7.33 percent so you can take out 7.33% every year without really touching the 772K principle that you have. So $772,000 minus 7.33% is $56,587 a year. 
you will have to pay taxes. So let's say after tax, it's about $45,000 a year. That is $3,750 a month net profit in pure passive income that is absolutely required zero work at all. This is a super rough calculation. A lot of the numbers are going to be very, very off uh, depending on the year that you do this. So once again, please don't you know, take the numbers seriously. It's more so the concept that I'm trying to teach you. So if I would illustrate this point, this is how it looks like. We have $772,000 invested, right? Every single year it grows by 10%, which means $77,000 uh, here. Inflation takes a little bit. You also have to pay taxes because you will be selling this 10% uh, to get this cash, right? So you have to pay taxes on that. Uh, it'll be a capital gains tax. So you will have to pay taxes on that. And let's say it'll be around $45,000 a year. This once again, depends on where you live. What's your, you know, tax rate, all of this stuff. But, uh, you know, let's say roughly it's 45 K a year. Okay. So you can essentially make $45,000 a year, every single year without touching the 772 K because you're not selling this portion. You're only selling what you gained, which is a 10% gain that you get every single year. So do you know what that means is it's an infinite return. If you're only touching the gains that you make every year and living off of that, you're never depleting the original principle of 772 K. So you can essentially do this permanently, right? As long as the stocks perform the average 10% growth a year, you can do this forever. And this is based on a very popular concept called the 4% rule uh, by the FIRE movement, which is financial independence retiring early. So if you guys want to learn more about the, the FIRE movement and the 4% rule, you can definitely uh, find a bunch of videos on YouTube. So step six, now that you're collecting about 45K a year, what you can do is just move to a cheaper country. That'll be step six. You can go to Bali. I lived in Bali. I live in Thailand right now, Mexico, Portugal. There's so many different options where you can have a higher quality of life, oftentimes better than the US, more convenient, more things to do, more beautiful, whatever it is, while being cheaper. So your money goes a lot further, right? But you're also increasing the quality of life. So if you have $3,700 coming in every single month, you'll be living like a king in a lot of these places. In Bali, you'll live a great life. In Chiang Mai, especially where I live right now, even if you wanna spend $3,700 a month, it's physically impossible because everything is so cheap. So this is how you can take advantage of, you know, making money online or making money from stocks. Move to a different country, right? It's a lot easier than you think. It's a lot less intimidating than you think, and you'll be living an amazing life. So step seven is financial freedom. You never have to work again in your life, although you probably should. Uh, you probably should work for fun, at least because, you know, working is actually good for you, right? As long as you work on something that you enjoy, then it's actually good and very, very healthy. So I recommend everybody to keep working, but now you can do it because you want to and because you enjoy it and not because you have to. So that is the overall plan. But let's just say that you need more than thirty seven hundred and fifty dollars a month to live. Maybe you got family, maybe you got kids. Well, all you have to do is put more money into stocks and increase that 10 percent a year that you can take out every year. Another option is to wait and don't take out the money from your stock market and let it grow over time. So let's say the initial investment is $702,000, right? And monthly contribution is zero and length of time is 10 years. So let's say you put this money and for 10 years, you don't add anything more. You just wait. Okay. And the estimated interest rate, as we talked about earlier, uh, we can expect a 10% a year return, right? So let's say it compounds annually. If you calculate this in 10 years, uh, you can estimate that your stock value is going to be over $2 million just by waiting and doing nothing for 10 years. You're not even adding any extra money into the account. All right, guys, that is a step-by-step -step plan that I am doing as well as many, many others are doing to achieve financial freedom. I understand that these numbers are pretty aggressive. Not every single year you're going to get this kind of returns. Some years it's a lot less, like we all know that 2022, once again, was really, really bad. So it's not the numbers that's important. It's the concept. Once again, hopefully this kind of opened your eyes into what's possible with KDP once you build a business and once you do invest in good assets and then you can take advantage of perhaps, you know, being a digital nomad and living in different countries, then achieving financial freedom is a lot easier than you think.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. And before you go, if you do want to check out a completely free training on how I built a successful KDP business, then the link is in the description below, as well as the links to all the tools and resources that I recommend for your publishing business. If you enjoy these kind of videos, leave a like to let me know, comment any questions you have, subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.